but the way I'm touching you, is, you, can't, you can't say you are feeling pain. It's only when you have a demo that you will feel like you've been beaten by a brick. So you will respond. Lift him up. So what are you doing to this boy? <laughs> huh? I'm going to call my demons. You say what? I'm going to call my demons. You are calling your demons? What about you? Huh? Who are you? Can you just dig a ball at this boy? <laughs> you say what are you doing? You are calling your demons? Yes. To come here? Yes. Mm. So you have your own demons? Yes. So who are you? I'm Satan. You're Satan? Yes. So who came with this boy? Huh? It's me, Pastor. So he's your son? He's my your grandson. grandson. So you know he's, he's in the dark? He's got a problem. Huh? He's got a problem. He's not a... Okay. Yes, he's my family, sir. You know, yes, he's a, he's a grandchild to my sister. And this one, it destroys everything. Whatever he sees, he eats everything. He eats his nails, he eats everything. The clothes, he eats it finished. And he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen, sir. So you can hear the spirit in him. You say you're what? A demon. I'm Satan. You're Satan? Yes. You've got your demons? Yes. So why do you make him to eat everything? Uh, well, have you ever seen him like this? No, he never been like this, sir. Uh, yeah. So you just have anger. Just now today you know that there's a spirit in him called Satan. Think about your... He's not at school, Pastor. He's not even going to school. When he, when he, when he started at school, the teachers were complaining. He can't catch anything. Think about it. And then I took him to the... How old, how old is he, Mama? He's 11 now. My God, I'm beginning to worry now about our children. That now, if now you see a child like this, you, you remember your own now. Have you ever prayed for your own? What about the demons in our children? You know, even our children might be having some demons. And you just look at the character, the anger, the what what. Huh? Age, L listen to that. He was very powerful. He was very powerful. And then they attacked him. They called him a pastor they in the area. At a very early age. After that, he started not catching up at school everywhere. And, so, and he's getting uh, so a I lot of accidents. I want to tell you, Satan will never attack what is not going anywhere. You know, sometimes when... You, you don't have problems. It's because you're not going anywhere. You see, you see a boy like So what are you doing to this boy? And what are you doing to the family? I destroy them. You destroy them? Yes. And what, tell, tell me things that you, are, you say you are destroying family. One, you're doing what? I'm certain. You are Satan? Yes. You are destroying them? Yes. So, is there any people who are dying in your family? Or just to destroy, you are losing things? The, the, the uncles, the uncles, the brother of the sister, they all died. Both of them, they, 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 they mysteri mysteriously. Since he was born, so they, are you, are you they died. Are you aware of that? Are you the one who's yes. killing the, all those uncles? Yes. And what are you doing to this grandma? I kill him. You kill who? This grandma. You are if killing... he's not my grandma. Is what? It's my demon. Hey, your grandma is your demon. Mama. He can't write. It's he can't... amazing. He's speaking he's... so well like that. He's speaking right English. Yes. He can't, he can't, yeah? He can't... I'm, I'm even shocked. You're shocked. That he speaks English like this. Uh, you are shocked, you people. I'm shocked. I'm uh, you shocked think Satan is. He's a very strange English, this one, sir. It's not this boy. It's not this boy. Now you are shocked. Even you can talk Portuguese today. <laughs> you, you, don't, you know, you know us. 
It goes by which demon has entered you. I'm sure you understand that. Yes. So you are shocked when you say, I'm destroying them. It's not even what one. Word. And he can't even write English. So you are together, sir? No. No. This one is together. This one is my wife. Yeah. Every time you tear something up, my heart is like. You feel it's something. Tearing. Up. It doesn't have even clothes. The Lord, no, I throw them away. He just break everything. So if you see him in the, he, coming out of the house, he's like, he's like somebody who stay out, who doesn't have a home. He breaks. The clothes is like everything is. Where his parents are? <laughs> the mother is in Cape Town. Huh? The mother the is mother in Cape Town, sir. I raised him when he was three months. The mother went back to school because she was she was at school in in, in Cape Town. Not long. I was telling people that God uses rejected children. I was I was telling you that. God can use the rejected children. Yes. Uh, uh, when we were preparing to come here in Eastern Cape, sir, demons came in my place. I saw them. They started accusing you. They asked me, where, where am I taking these people to? Because you are an evil person. And then by the time you were talking about that here now, I, I looked at my sister and then she agreed that this is exactly all the accusation that the demons were saying, um, I shouldn't bring these people here. Because the last time I was here, they came to your room. They came to my not only once, they came many times and then they did a lot of things along telling the way. Telling you. They're telling me personally. Why taking the that way that you you are an evil man. And then they show me everything that what you do after after after, after uh, at home, after your time, whatever you do. They told me that you are evil. Even me and myself, they said you will be delivered. You want to be rich. If you don't go there, otherwise your richness will torment you because that man is going to make you rich because he's, he's a ritualist. Don't take these people because your, your whole family will be free. They Don't say, go there. They say I'm a ritualist. Yeah, yes, uh, they said you are a ritualist. And let's deliver this boy. Yes. Go. Bring this boy to me. Bring him. It's a small boy. Leave him. Yeah, this boy is free. Huh? At home, he loves Charis, Charis TV so much. Every Sorry. time when he entered the house, in my so house, he runs when it. When demons came, what did they were telling you? It's like this service here. It will be finished by stories today. I wanted to pray for everyone. Let's hear the, your story. So when the demons came, what were they saying? They, they, when they came, they asked me, where are you going? Because we know that you are going to, to Makananisa. And then I said, yes, I'm going, when I answered. And then, why are you taking these people along with you? Don't take them there because he's, you, he is going to sacrifice my wife and my daughter. And then my daughter, she's in East London. And then he said, uh, they said, you're going to sacrifice them. Because, and then after that, you're going to make Save me rich. Me. Yes, you. you go, sacrifice. You're going to sacrifice them. And then you're going to take them and you're going to make, you're going to sleep with them. And then after I'll that, sleep with them. You, with them. And, then, and then after that, you will, you, you will do some, you will perform some ritualist for me to become rich. Then I said, if it is so, let it be so, because the demons have already t taken over my family. Sir. I said, if it is so, and then I will be free and I will be rich me myself, because the demons, they rendered my family up to nothing as we speak. Like you said the last time.